MC Hammer's on uh, Channel 11. Yeah, he's, he's coming, coming over here, he's right? He's making the rounds. I think he's got his son with him. Okay. Reality show. He looks show. different, man. He Twitters. Think- he tweets a lot. He's one of the top Twitters, oh, I heard. There she is. What kind of, is he doing a reality show? The ex. Yeah. Who, yeah. is that your lady right there? That was my ex a year ago. Where? Let me see. Oh, boy. The kid? Cut to yeah. your ex. Cut yeah, to your ex. ex. That chick? Yeah. And that's the one that Gene Simmons tried to buy? Yeah. Yeah. Fucking Gene Simmons. Like that. You're over the Gene Simmons thing. Come on. Oh, believe me. I don't care. She she actually, ooh, did she catch me mm-hmm. <laughs> while I was being a bad boy? <laughs> I had a girl in my walk-in closet when she walked into the bedroom. You were literally caught with somebody in yeah, the closet? Yeah. 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 I was, Right in the closet. He had his cock in the cookie jar. And still managed to fuck him. Yeah, he was <laughs> bitch about fuck. Ah, Gene Simmons wanted to fuck you that one time. This is revenge. <laughs> it annoyed me. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think I'm doing this? <laughs> it's for us. <laughs> yeah. So I can forgive Even you. Steven. <laughs> They're doing yeah. hammer time on the local yeah, news. Yeah, I'm like, this is the news. Your, is your ex is news? doing some hammer time. Yeah. Yeah. All right, look, now we know what we're go. doing. Erock. Wow, your lady is dancing around. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh no, she's got the pants. What are they? They doing? all got the pants on. Look at the, the 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 news guy. That guy is is the doctor. He does the medical reports on this news channel. Well, how am I supposed to take him seriously? There goes all his credibility out the window. Yeah. It, it's they've done this now every time MC God, Hammer's so, been anywhere. He looks so different. Yeah, he, he's not sick of doing this. They put the pants on. I just saw yesterday. Look at there he goes. There he goes. There he goes. Now he's got to do it. He can still do it, man. Hammer. He can still do it. He's got to do the hammer time. Oh, Christ. That's great. That's like making an Asian guy spin kick when he comes on studio. <laughs> Get the black guy to dance. <laughs> Make him drive poorly. <laughs> That's good. This is good. This is the fucking old lady that made Oprah drive her home in fucking the color purple. <laughs> I want to see dancing. <laughs> Let's talk to the guy. <laughs> uh, Hammer had an interesting story. It's like, why would you just make him dance? Do the color purple line so again. We- I want to see somebody dance. I just made that up. My favorite line in that movie is when Whoopi Goldberg is putting a curse on Danny Glover. And she's like, until you do right by me, everything you do is going to fail. <laughs> oh, 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 damn. I do that to all my enemies. Oof. And, and then Danny Glover looked at her right by me. and he said, I'm too old for this shit. And she went, wrong movie, <laughs> stupid. <laughs> and he tried to get a cab and had to walk home. <laughs> but his goddamn can't get a cab story. Who was right. that fucking broad that used to come that he would fuck with his wife in the house? Oh, yeah, yeah. The really hot one, Danny, in, in the movie. Which movie? The Color Purple. He had yeah. that chick that would come, oh, Miss, yeah, Miss yeah, Avery. Yeah, yeah the chick. The singer. The right? singer, yeah, yeah. And, uh, and, and, That's and a good movie. they had a lesbian thing, yeah. her and uh, Whoopi mm-hmm. Goldberg had a lesbian yeah. encounter. Mm-hmm. And then uh, Whoopi Goldberg invented pants or something. <laughs> At the end, she's got a pants shop. And everyone's like, what are these? <laughs> Nobody's ever worn pants before. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> That's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow, is that hammer in a fucking G? He's got a little fucking... Oh, look at it. Oh, he's in a fucking banana hammock. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What the fuck is this from? This is from the Pumps and a Bump video. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. What is he Let's doing? Let's see it. Play it. What is he doing? The guy's all cock. <laughs> <laughs> what oh, the Christ. fuck, Hammer? He is all cock. Look at Jesus him. Christ. He's got a hammer in his pants. Come on. It was basically just a commercial for his penis. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, man, I know, that, I know where that house is. Yeah? In Los Angeles, yeah. I can't believe it. I love pool rap pool videos. Holy shit, what the fuck? Does he use that to balance? Like a T Rex tail? <laughs> God damn, all right. Hence it, the name what's it, Hammer. What's it like to have a dick that big? That's just. Sorry, it's, it's a burden. <laughs> you think he fluffed that? But how could you not? I don't think that's real. I think he might have something in there because well, it's a little too now stiff. Now we got a question for him. It's a little That's too right. stiff. Yeah, make sure we have Pulse this video. Right. I'm not saying I'm sure he has a huge cock, but I'm saying for the purposes of this video, that, he probably a has fake. a stunt penis in there. Why? Because no guy wants to watch like Hammer's fucking I'll dick and ball yourself. set. <laughs> I'm mean, here. We are all looking. <laughs> <We're> <laughs> we, we, we can't no take our eyes to. off it. If it was in front of us, we'd touch it. We can. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Come on, Hammer. Wow, he's doing a lot of that move. Yeah, he's the pump. And he's in a pool. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> come on. Excellent pause, he's sir. Yeah, Perfect well pause. Yeah, he's the king of the internet. Yeah, that way. seems, I, I think right. that might be, could be a little stuff or prosthetic device there. Maybe, because you don't see any helmet outlined. You see like a little bump and then it's all ball. He's pup tenting in a fucking G-string. <laughs> 
In a thong. But anybody would. MC Hammer next. <laughs> Can't touch this. I'm sure MC Hammer wants to hear this as he comes into the studio. Opie and Anthony, Patrice yeah, O'Neill, this comics enough. this weekend, Friday and Saturday. And uh, Big Mama Prods on Twitter as MC Hammer makes his way into the studio. Yeah, he hasn't heard this enough. He probably I, has. Oh, literal Jim. I, I got to apologize right off the bat. They're playing like, can't touch this. I'm sure you, you know, I'm sure you, you heard it. Heard, heard it way that. too much, right? Oh, I mean, but well, it's my <laughs> record, though. Yeah, you know, come true. on, everybody in this business got an ego, baby. <laughs> you had, you stroked the ego, stroked the ego. All right. Let me tell you no, something. I, I, no, I, you know, how it's all right. goddamn sick of you of people in goddamn chromium pants dancing around at every friggin' news thing that you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing my balls off. I no, no, no. I'm not, I'm not laughing the same as you laughing. I'm not, <laughs> I like to see them dancing in the pants. Are you kidding me? I like to see them dancing in the pants. You got you to be kidding me. Why? Because do, do you think it's funny just to watch them being terrible at it? Or because... <laughs> <laughs> no, it's more, um, uh, it's just, you know, it's flattering. No one know? could really, no one could, no one could do it as well. Uh, problem. They yeah. do their thing, man. Yeah, da- they dancing, do. dancing is subjective. Well, we're not going to do it here, I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, I think well, we're what? Still, what? I think we'll wait, 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 wait. That's part of the deal. We're not gonna, <laughs> that's part of the deal. I'm going to come in here doing nothing unless you're going to get out in the pants. I bought, uh, I bought four or five pair with me, so, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. All right, Everybody's you know. got to wear the pants. You Jesus. Know, uh, so we're promoting what? Uh, Hammer Time? Oh, yeah. uh, it's going to be on A&E, 10 p.m. on Sunday. We're promoting what? Yeah. No, I'll tell you. I'll be I'll be completely be honest with you, I, I didn't know what the hell you were up to until two days ago. I told you outside the studio they had a flash mob uh, video. That, right, that right, right. Went online. It's viral. It's it's unbelievable. And then all of a sudden, I, I know all about Hammer Time well, now. Well, thank God for that viral video. We it don't want to have you out of the loop here. It, you know, it, we trying to do things. But it was know? beautiful marketing. Uh, really quick for the people that haven't seen it. It's some kind of clothing store in L.A. Mm-hmm. You know, the, you know the mob thing where all of a sudden everyone shows up at the same time. Yeah. And there's people in the store, and next thing you know, the door opens. And how many people? Two hundred, easy. Yeah, it, look, it looks like about two hundred people. Maybe two hundred people, and they're they're doing the dance and everything, and freaking out at everybody. And then there's a line dance that goes on, and then all of a sudden <laughs> someone blows a whistle, and these people are gone. Yeah, yeah. And the yeah, people left yeah. going, "What the fuck is this?" <laughs> and that's what I said at home. And then I'm like, "Oh, okay, he's doing a reality show." Uh, it's, it's, right, it, it, man. Thank God for that, because I can't have you out of the loop. You know, you're important in this big picture here. You know? <laughs> yeah. So um, the video, yeah, it's uh, it was pretty cool. It's though. been uh, four days. It has a million views already. So it, huh? it, it went viral really quickly, and you know, people relate to the video. It was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Did so you, how were you? How were you approached to do uh, to do the show? Like, because. Uh, you know, you're kind of out of the picture for a little while there. Well, um, you know, seven, maybe eight years ago, I did the original uh, Surreal Life. Surreal Life. That's the, seven the, years the, ago yeah, already? Yeah, seven years oh, ago. Damn. And uh, uh, while we were doing yeah. that uh, show, uh, I got offered uh, a actual sitcom um, out of that because they, they see I got it, you know, I got it pretty quickly. And, and uh, uh, it was over at Warner Brothers. And at that time, the president changed. And so we didn't do anything. And uh, but the guys who did that show with me end up becoming the biggest producers of reality TV in the business. So they end up doing all the whole block for VH1, mm. the Flavor of Love, New York, all the same guys. They 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 Abrego, was it, uh, Chris Abrego and uh, Mark Cronin, and uh, uh, I'm leaving out somebody. Uh, Who's with you on that? Was that what that was that the Webster year? Yeah, that was <laughs> Webster uh, year. Uh, I love that. I love uh, the, yeah. the the original. Surreal that was one. original one. Yeah, it so, was the Webster year, and was uh, uh, Vince Tammy Neal. Baker was on that one. No, no, Vince Neal, uh, Corey Feldman. All right, Manuel Lewis. Yeah, but that that was the year. And so that, that was, was the first when show. you 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 went off about the sushi on the girl. <laughs> right, what? They, they had I, sushi on a naked girl and Hammer right, wasn't happy. Right, right, right. We were like, hold on, man. You know, I ain't getting down with all that, man. Y'all exploiting her, you know. So I, anyway, you know, well, you're so, not in exploiting women, Hammer. Not, not like that. I'm out of here, man. I'll, only personal. Hey, uh, personal. <laughs> look, hey, look at look at personal, personal. No, yeah, no, no, I ain't in that. I'm not. I in, no, I don't believe in that. You know that. Well, we'll I, I, the women. But those, anyway, one of those videos we were just watching though. Except for three five <laughs> seven back yeah. in the day. What are they doing? What are they doing? Wait, wait, and, wait. and the two big MC. What are they doing? Okay, hold on. Chain of thought, man. Hold on. Don't digress, <laughs> man. Right. Keep chain of thought. Focus, man. Y'all focus in here. We've been wanting to say so, that to Patrice for years. Thank you, MC. Hey, no. So I'm only saying that to say. Tell him to breathe too. That will help the show as well. I just wanted to see if he had another two big MC out. 
try to be that. Yeah, uh, hey, I love uh, too uh, big uh, MC. Uh, uh, we hold auditions for that right after this, and you better be ready since you put it out there now. Uh, uh, but no, so anyway, uh, I made a decision that uh, I wouldn't do reality unless I had uh, creative control. Unless I could be executive producer, creator of the show, I wouldn't do it. So I got offered shows for the last six, seven years all the time. I said, no, no, no. And about a year and some change ago, uh, and he approached me and he gave me a call and said, Hammer, would you be interested in doing a show with us? We've been doing some research, you know, your, your demographics, blah, blah, blah. And I said, uh, under these circumstances, these parameters, I would be interested. And we cut the deal, and it still took another year to get the language right because wow, I wanted to make sure great. that the language wow. is right. Uh, and uh, so that's how, that's the genesis of how this show came about. What is it about you that makes you, I mean, people are fascinated by you. Like, I mean, there's been a lot of rappers who have been successful, who have put out a lot of albums, but people have had a long standing fascination with you uh is it because you were perceived to have been doing really well and then not doing well or what, what is it that people are just they can't get enough of he you? was famous uh, no 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 uh, but it's more than that with him it's more than that with him um he was famous um no rapper was famous no people him. are not as it, people, <laughs> people don't want to see ll cool j i'm go back and forth yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> work it out guys work it out let me answer this for yeah, you yeah, yeah, work it out go ahead work it out i mean work it out Work it out. I'm working it out. I mean, you know, but he, of course he was. That's why I said there's been a lot of rappers. I didn't say you're the only guy that ever do that. But there's been a lot of rappers. No, so I'm saying, Kelly, man, famous. Famous. Let know. nobody's Let asking know. KRS One to do a, 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 a reality because show because KRS One wasn't famous. He was famous, but not as famous. He, he, famous. There's no such thing as as famous. He was Hammer had a a show. He had a hundred guys on. It was he wasn't. A rapper. He's right in here. terms of yeah, no, yeah, yeah, exactly. He's not dead. I'm letting him work it out, man. Work it out. I, Hammer, I love it. you wasn't a rapper. Like it, he was famous. That's what it was. He was famous. Yes, he was, he was famous. A, Hammer was the first famous rapper. It, what? It like no, that. he wasn't. There was he was very else. famous, but not the first. Run DMC. They weren't famous. They weren't famous till after. I, I would argue till they after were very famous. This way, but he was. Oh wow. Damn. LL Cool J was famous. No. Mainstream fame, you're talking no, about? I'm talking. Fab Five Freddy, yeah. motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, it was a phenomenon, dude. I see how we're just going to watch yeah, us really argue now. Say, so, hey, at any I point, say. you know, uh, you guys, if you know. But there what's is, your opinion uh, on the matter? Uh, oh, what's your opinion on the matter? Oh, yeah. Any other rapper to be a phenomenon like you, uh, Hammer? You a phenomenon. Uh, it's not. You know, if you uh, can stand on the outside and look at not you. You know, it ain't my. I should say, it's not my style to compliment. You know, I don't want to fan my own flame. But what I'm saying is, for, by the way, for the first time, I even address my perspective on all of it from a business perspective. Mm-hmm. From from uh, I, I did it with all allhiphop dot com and uh, video wise, and they're gonna mm-hmm. release it this this weekend. But I actually put everything in proper perspective for the first time, and I articulate some of the things you that you are saying uh, from my perspective. So, you know, the, the ham- third person, the hammer thing. Uh, at one point, second album. Keep in mind, my first album sold three million copies. So, uh, when I was when I became uh, a, a quote unquote popular artist, there was a foundation that was laid already of you know tri- triple platinum album, and I had already gone from an opener to a closer on my mm-hmm. first album. So I, it, it was not like I came out of nowhere. With the second album, when I hit number one, I hit number one in January, and in the summer, in July. I was still number one. You have to really put that in perspective. Just just understand what you know about radio. Records come out every Tuesday, and there's a staff of people who are responsible for getting records to number one, and that's their job. They had to come and tell a boss every week from January to July, uh, who's number one this week? Uh, uh, MC Hammer? February. What was the big song from that album? Jesus. Well, I'm, I'm going to make a point. So we, we go all the way through that. So I picked up a lot of uh, competitors and enemies along the way. Marketing budgets. It, it, at one point, it became the other five labels' marketing budgets versus Hammer and his label's the marketing. The Hammer yeah, campaign. Exactly. <laughs> that's, that's the point I'm making. So when you say, what's the fascination, you got to understand that I took on the entire music business by, as one artist. For a half a year. And in other words, literally millions of marketing dollars versus just our marketing budget. And uh, it was, how can we fight the hammer? Was that too legit to quit time? No, no, that came secondly. But uh, that was the tail end of the attack uh, because the first one failed. (laughs) So the first one is like, how do we take on hammer? Oh, okay. At the end of that one. 
He sold 10 million records just on that album. So they lost that one. So with the Too Legit to Quit album, they started early. So it was like... It's oh, a, that was a third album. That was a that third was, album. Oh, that, so, was a, that was before the destruction. Too Legit to Quit was after the destruction. Wait, wait, wait. wait. I, I, know where, I know where you're going. What was the hit off the second album? That's what we're all lost. That was Can't Touch This. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, it was. Second album was Can't Touch This. That's the hit off the first album. First album sold three million. Turn his, turn his mother out. Let's get it started. Ring him. They put me in a mix. All the records came on Damn. my first. I had six known records off my first album and five videos. So, you know, so when you ask what is it, it, uh, it, it it's a lot. It's, it's a lot. When you, if you just put on a hammer mix right now, you're going to go through twenty songs that people actually know. Mm-hmm. One just is you know so far above the others, but there's twenty songs that I do in concert. My song Adam's Groove. From the Adams Family Holy movie. Holy mother of Jesus. Oh, I forgot about that one. Oh, yeah. Just oh, that, damn, just right? that oh, song. I forgot about that one. <laughs> yeah. that, one, that one itself sold, and I quote, four million singles. Just that one. Jeez. Just that song. Wow. And that's off the Too Legit to Did Quit. Did you see his first video? The one that was shot, the one that put him on the, on the, on the, <laughs> yeah. It yeah. was, a, the, it was well, shot like a, uh, I think Turner's mother, no. What, too legit, uh, the one this that album? was shot looked like a looked like it was shot like an unfinished construction site kind of thing. It was real raw. The uh, one where you you three uh, uh, Oak Town three five seven. Oh, that's off the first so, album. It, it wasn't. It wasn't. Uh, I forgot. But it was. It put him on the map. It was so, like so. So just to put that in perspective, keep in mind this all begun in uh, or began uh, in eighty yeah. eight. So that's the other thing yeah, that you have to yeah. understand. From eighty eight till ninety five, my last hit of that run was seven years later, which was my worst album. It only sold like 1.8 million. So it was, it was a real bad time what for me. The rumps? They, exactly. They, they said with that one, he's definitely finished because he's only sold about a million, seven million, eight. Uh, you it should was, have sold was, thongs after uh, that. Uh, Holy shit. We couldn't, yeah, we couldn't yeah, stop yeah, looking yeah, at the well, thong. So, so that one I'm saying, <laughs> uh, the two platinum singles off of that one was It's All Good and Pumps in the Bump. So anyway, so, so that's what oh, it wait, is. Okay. It's a combination of years and years of hits, um, years and years of touring, million and millions of records, and they, and, uh, they're I, fil- from, uh, affiliated with movies and a whole lot of stuff. I want yeah. you to back up for a second. When when you're on the level you were and you sell 1.8 million, they look at that as like a, a failure almost, right? Like like it was a bust. Yeah, yeah but they can't. Which is do, insane. I'm saying, but you know, I'm I'm I'm, I'm from the inside uh, out, not outside in. So, I, but you're right. You're right. They say, hey, for you. What do you mean for me? Your record right next to mine, yeah. same store. What you mean? You we here they for come. For you, MC Hammer, it's another yeah. hit. Yeah. Obviously, yeah. Well, I'm saying million they, of anything is is unbelievable. But but when you're on the level you were at, they're like, oh, it was a flop. See, yeah, He's done. yeah. Well, you you can't you're fool me after, with that. You're How done after you selling one point eight million. That's ridiculous. Right. right. Well, and I knew that at that time because I'm you know I, I know that. I mean, right. you, your record is this is the this is the argument I always have with anybody. Wait a minute, did you make a record at the same time I made one? Okay, did you put yours in the same stores? You did. Oh, same aisle? So they came in, and here's the acid test. When they went in their wallet, they brought their money out and said, I'll take one of those. And yours that you classified as all different type of nomenclatures you put on it to justify it not selling. It's a, oh, no, this here over here, this is what you call classic right here. Mm-hmm. Uh, this this right here is a, a, a real unique, we giving it to them raw. Whatever it is, it means it don't sell. That's what it means. <laughs> when that money come out that wallet, they say, I'll take this home. And, I, and, and this, you know, it resonates with my family with me and we enjoy it. So those kind of battles that I fought early on also contribute to my longevity in the long run. So uh, The mm-hmm. other thing I want to mention, when you first started, too, you were selling your own records out of the hood of your uh, car, right? Or yeah. Trunk? I, 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 the trunk. I'm <laughs> <the trunk. laughs> oh, sorry. sorry. Well, spark plugger and <laughs> CD. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This yeah, whole room yeah, hasn't yeah. slept. We yeah. all uh, yeah. stayed up all night. We had things last night. But, yeah, yeah. out of the trunk yeah. of your car, you were yeah. selling your own albums. Yeah, I, I started off selling the records out of the trunk. Um, I went to all the music events. So I, even two years before that, uh, I came here to New York uh, in 1986. Went to the Latin quarters where all the rappers were, you know, doing their thing. And I, you know, I, I announced myself as I'm, I'm next, man. I'm next. And of course, you know, it was like, yeah, right, you know. And so that's that that led to the turn this mother out song when I said, you know, man, I'm I'm getting some momentum here. I'm hitting in Cleveland. I'm hitting in Detroit, but. Uh, Hammer, you ain't hitting in New York. You know, I wrote that myself because I'm saying I'm not satisfied until I take on New York. And I and I imagine that from from mm-hmm. from the West Coast, from Oakland. Uh, but it was your challenge in New York it, to be here in New Back York. Because I remember I was, you know, I'm, I was 18 when Hammer came out, so I was a, a, essentially adult. And the thing is, it was the 
it was the visual that got people. People love mm-hmm. Hammer. He did the Running Man first. He did the the, the, the <laughs> he did a lot of stuff first. Yeah. And I'm telling you, the visual with the with the hook. I'm, it was Hammer. I'm t- he was a phenomenon back then. I'm telling. I'm, oh I'm, yeah, you ain't got to tell me. I, I remember, mean, it's yeah. amazing. But let me ask you: Was you if you come out with something else? If, are you retired from music? Are you kidding me? The melodies never stop. So I'm, I'm only saying. Are you yeah. gonna have to dance? Are you gonna dance though? I, I, you gotta I, be. I, what are you? Seventy uh, six. About to swing on him. About to swing on him. I'm a swing on him. I'm just saying. I'm cold with these. You didn't comment on how good the skin looking, man. I was a man. The hammer's in great shape, man. You know, I'm in good shape. Yeah, I mean, he's still in '86. He doesn't look old enough to start in '86. How old are you, Hammer? Do you say? No, I do. Of course, I'm proud. I'm 47. Yeah, I'm very proud because you know it ain't no. 22, 24 years old, 25 year olds who do what we do, the music business, they they not in this kind of shit. They get drunk, stay high too much. They, <laughs> they can't hit the hip. They can't do it. I, you know, I I I lift eighties for breakfast. I curl eighties for breakfast. You know, uh, 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 uh. so <laughs> yeah. you know. So anyway, I enjoy working out. I enjoy dancing. Um, I just you know I did did a show in uh, Detroit a couple weeks ago. I got a uh, uh, Thomas and Mack Center in, in Las Vegas. Uh, June twenty five days uh, weekend. I perform all the time. I and I must shows. say, it's not pathetic. Like you see, you know, you might see an old uh, Tim Chase's reunion. <laughs> <laughs> hey, leave the Tim Chase uh, alone. It's, it's not like Hammer. You did something where you had a fur coat on something. And you just did a little cameo. Oh, that I think was it might have been BT Awards. Twenty twenty fifth anniversary. And people I think. get mesmerized. He can't a little fur coat, and he only did a little <laughs> hammering. Yeah, just a little bit. And <laughs> it wasn't a pathetic. Tape. It was like. You go, holy, mo- Hammer still got it. I uh, appreciate Hammer. that. Uh, you know, I love dancing. I do, I do, I do. Well, and people root for you, too. Yeah, like, I people do. just root for it. Dude, people, I'm, I, it's just because, you know, in, in the hood, you just go, you, you know the story. And, then, you know, the hood talks. Like, I don't know how mm-hmm. white how white people end up in the, in the position they are in terms of fame. Like, when you talk in, in, in per- It's all but, the grand conspiracy. Yeah. You, I don't, you know, like, <laughs> put it this way. God puts us there. Like the rise, like the rise and the fall and the rise of Led Zeppelin or something. I'm just right, putting right, the word right. out. Aerosmith's but a the, good one. Everyone yeah, knows they, the hammer, uh, the hammer, uh, the, yeah, the, the, the thing, the thing, the thing with hammer. Right, right, so right. it's just interesting, man. And it's like, you just go, man, Every you just know what people are saying. Yeah. At a particular time in a particular way, and you just go that that BT thing. You just go ham and pulled his had his fur coat, and they just went boom, and well, he just did two things. Yeah, well, and people were like God, now, holy now you, shit! Now you got the the TV <laughs> show. What what uh what level of like your life are we going to see here? Is this well, uh, pretty uncensored as far as what what you do? What are we going to be seeing? Well, I, we introduced a man. So what what I mean by that is uh, there uh, and 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 by the way, any everything that I've said. You know, so far in this interview, none of it was to be self-serving. I, I was just trying to mm-hmm. d- describe nah, the scenario, yeah. you know, of, of, of my career and why you you you, uh, you were debating and I was listening on, you know, <laughs> he was famous. You know, I was trying no, to quantify. But no, I wasn't saying that you weren't famous. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, okay. I was just trying to quantify, no, we got you know, how, how it sold. Yeah, I, 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 I think it came across. Uh, yeah, know. I don't know. I, 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 well. I, believe it or not, I hate toot my own horn. It's not ah, my thing. Not I just like to, pro- I like to perform, you know. But so, so you know, um, on the show, what... One of the reasons why I said yes is because nobody really knows me outside of the Absolutely. music. Yep. And my friends and my business partners have complained for 12 years as if it's my fault. They, they, they'll, they'll go in there and they'll say, Hammer, why do you, when you, when you go on radio, why do you talk like that? Why, do you, why won't you let them see the business acumen? Or the man, I said, well... It's not the right place. You, there's not enough time. You know, it's you, you, you. I'm on the next guy's zone. So, with the show, I get to show the, the father, the uncle, that, that I am, the brother, the businessman. Uh, I, I I do a panel at uh, the MIT Stanford Lab. You know, um, uh, you know, in the last two months right now, uh, I've lectured at Stanford on social media, Harvard on social media. Um, I'm, I'm an early adopter of, of social media platforms. Um, I've been going to Google for the last six, seven years. What's social media, by the way? I don't know. Uh, well, well, I, I, I'll, I'll explain. But I'm saying, I, so I've been doing these things for <laughs> quite a while. I don't know what um, it is. He's saying words. I don't like how uh, Hammer's just. I just like how he shuts yeah, you up. Just, I like I how Hammer's shuts you up. 
No, we no, can, we can learn from our mistakes. Yeah. You know, no, 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 but he has a way of just shutting you up. No, I just well, got to finish my thought. You know? I'm going to finish my thought. Yeah, yeah, you know, I ain't shut the bomb. I'm, yeah. I mean, you know, I'm just no. finishing my thought. So what I'm saying is I got I had got a love for technology early on. It was uh, I wanted to figure out how to get my videos on the Internet. Right. <laughs> I mean, so I had to learn this stuff. <laughs> like got me laughing. All right, all right. So social media. Hey, where'd you get your hat? See how that is? There we go. There we go. the same question. All we're saying is... All we're saying is Mr. Hammer was trying to make a point, and he didn't let him get make his point. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Well, he's on Twitter. Uh, he's a big uh, Twitter guy. Uh, no, see, I like how you try to avoid. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm real fast. I got that. I, you know, I got that. I won't, but I won't. I won't. I won't, I won't pull the cover off. All right. I, he's a big Twitter guy. Is that bad? So what do I? <laughs> I won't do it to you. I won't do it to you. I won't do it. I won't do it. You know. I, you know. All right. right. I'm. Leave, I'm a what big, are you gonna do to him? Big, he knows. He's gonna beat me up. So I'm a big Twitter guy. Yes. I was early adopter of Twitter. Um, I actually. Um, Yep. Uh, the, the founders invited vi- invited me to come speak on my business idea of monetization of the platform uh, 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 a month ago, uh, which I had actually approached him a year ago to say, here's some things that we'll be able to do in the music business with this platform. Ultimately, which include I have a show at Radio City Music Hall. You should be able to just click here. And that ticket goes right to the All phone, right, to yeah. the emails, done. Right. So the, the the challenge uh, and what's scary for a lot of business people, unbeknownst to many, is that the distance between creation of content and the consumer has shortened drastically. Oh, so oh, yeah. so you put the music on, you like the song. I start talking about my concert. Um, uh, as of the day, I, I'll use myself, for example. Uh I'm probably at 800,000 followers. So let's just say that 20,000 of them or 50,000 of them are here in New York. I'm only trying to sell 4,000 seats at the Radio uh-huh. City Music Hall. I announce my concert. I sell the tickets all from my phone. We're done. Oh, I didn't buy no commercials. I'm sorry, gentlemen. Uh, to that, <laughs> yeah. Maybe, maybe yeah, I'll circle yeah. back to that in a few years. Uh, it's like but, iTunes so, cutting the commercial, cutting the record industry out. You're cutting all these middlemen out. It's all and it's done. It's not like it's. Uh, it's not like maybe it'll happen. It's, mm-hmm. it's, it's done. Happening. It's done. Yeah. It's done. The, so the things that we need to do to just finish the transactional things that those those they already exist, and we just move them over and we uh, in, uh, integrate them into the interface. So. That's the kind of stuff that I like to stay on top of because the music industry is very slow to adopt to uh, new new technology, and it kills them, mm-hmm. and I'm a music guy. So if you want, as a business, get in early, I'll do it as an individual. It has, yeah. What, what so I don't know what that got to do with Hammer Time, but... Well, <laughs> I don't even know how to ask this, but you seem like you're a great businessman. You have a great head on your shoulders. So what happened? The what famous happened? behind the music where we all saw, like, holy shit... Hammer was on top of the world, lost it all, and now obviously has brought it right back up. Well, um, but what happened in that time where like you were losing your way? Loyalty. Uh, um, I would say you, you, you two and things if, that you said earlier. One, you said how big the show is. Right. Well, the show is a business, and mm-hmm. and behind the show is another layer of business. I mean, if the support team, and behind the music biz, the music, the label is another support team. So. It's real simple. Um, you never heard me on the radio or television or any of the existing mediums complaining about how uh, the rise and fall of MC Hammer, MC Hammer, uh, he pissed it all off. Whatever, yeah. the, however you you know. It did and, become and, kind of a. Yeah, yeah, like I, a that's, you were that's like all the we know. Xerox, yeah, right, right. right. Absolutely. Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And, I, and you never. Oh, I, you put, I, that guy pulled a hammer. Right. I, you know? Right. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, what I did. It came like a. But it's true. It's true. No, but it's true. It's true. What, he was dancing? No. No, 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 no. So I was very aware of. And I just listened and I said, wow. Because there were two chain of thoughts for me. One is that. It's not like you don't really know. It wasn't no secret. Like, everybody knew that I had 200 employees. It wasn't no secret. So what you think? I was paying them in, uh, in, <laughs> in the hamburgers? So uh, you know you know, somebody was paying that payroll, and it wasn't falling. Fr- so I was doing that. So if you wanted to now say the story is MC Hammer just pissed his money off when you knew that I was employing 200 people from my community, it said more about you than it did about me. So I didn't go on the radio to defend that. That because if you every now and then somebody would say after the sensational part of it, they said, you know, he took care of a lot of people. But anyway, we're going right next to the next commercial. So <laughs> yeah. so I said, Wow, this is very interesting to me. So 
If a guy that you know in the middle of the crack era, when everybody was dying, machine guns everywhere, decided he wanted to try to to pull some guys out of that, if his fate is to be the guy who we're going to introduce for the next 14 years (laughs) is, hey, we're going to talk about MC Hammer next, how he pissed off 30 million. Man, that's what you get for trying to contribute to the community. But the guy who might be known for uh, exploiting, all right, and of course, we got our man right now with the hottest record in the world coming on next. He says every in the country needs to drop down now and, and suck here. Coming up next, our hero. I said, oh, so yeah, I, I need to let them do that, and I'm going somewhere else for a while because that fight I'm not fighting. That's a personal fight. That's your perspective on life, the world, and how you see things. I can't fight that. You got to have what you want. Some people love this. Some people love that. Never so, heard your perspective on that yeah. whole thing. I, so I, heard only heard other I, n- people's I never did. Story, yeah. I never did. I, did I, for Don't the first hire time, nobody. This is the first, <laughs> the first no. time on our dopey show. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm saying I never did it I, I, because I didn't yeah, need yeah. to. I, did I, people I, take advantage of you? People like take advantage of your loyalty, your good nature. They, they didn't take advantage of me because even if, you, as you hear me speak, and not to pat, pat myself on the back, but you can see I'm, I'm a pretty smart guy. Yeah. So. I, it's not like you was, you know, doing a shell game in front of me, and I'm, you know, p- picking the wrong <laughs> piece or something. Money. Three car Molly. <laughs> no, no, I just mean with 200 people, it's a little, e- it's a little it easier to loyal. hide stuff with that many people. It's yeah. a different. There's it's a, a loyalty, but I also think it's not loyalty in this case I, per I, se. I, Look, but you're it, also on a, a really high level, so when that level started to drop a little bit, it made it tougher to take care of all these people. We just right? talking about revenue generation. It's not real complicated. Are you yeah. making enough money to sustain right. the business? Yeah, yeah. It's not, you know, it's not that. So. But from my perspective, it was loyalty, but it's just, I just wanted to do loyalty with the interpretation of it. We were dying. This is the mm-hmm. real thing. It's not fake. They, go and look at the murder rate in my city at the time. My city became very famous for being in the top three in homicides. That's where I live. That's where I grew up my entire life. I didn't grow up somewhere else. Some of the people that were dying were my classmate, my neighbors. So when I had the hammer thing, I would literally call home. I'd be on the road. I'd call home and somebody say, I say, hey, what John doing? What you mean what John doing? John dead. I said, what you mean John is dead? I just talked to him two weeks ago. He said, yeah, John dead and Sam killed him. I told him Sam lived two houses down from, from John killed him? Over what? Well, you know, blah, 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 blah. So I say, well, let me speak Let me speak to Sam then. Hey, Sam, man, check this out, man. Why? Well, I said, well, why don't you come out here on the road with me, man? I can give you 30000 a year. I can't give you what you're making on the block. But, man, I can't have you keep doing what you're doing. I mean, you're killing the very cats we grew up with. Well, 10 turned to 20, 20 turned to 30. Huh. I'm cool with that. I was, I was cool with that because the amount of money that I was generating was worth the lives to me. Now, in retrospect, for the sake of story, I always say, Hammer, if you had it to do it all over again, wouldn't you? Come on, Hammer, just say you you kept some of that money. I say, yeah, you know, if I had to do it all over again, I would absolutely, you know, put some of that money in the bank and all that. But the real truth is, not in exchange for the lives that lived, wow. I, I wouldn't do wow. it. Wow. I always knew that I could generate money. Right. I had my first job at eight, at nine. It's very documented. You can go to my Twitter right now and pull up a picture of me and Hank Aaron. It says the two hammers finally meet. Know what the date of the picture, picture says? 1975. Yeah, I've seen that. In 1975, I was already in my third year of a job. I'm a, I've been an entrepreneur from day one, so I, I'm, not, I'm not ever concerned about generating money, but I got caught up in my humanity. So, so mm. just to summarize, you, words, to summarize, you decided to go down with the ship. Yeah, I, you, you didn't I have made to go down with the ship. I didn't have to. They pulled me. You could have let those guys. You should have told die. thirty guys with shiny pants. Right, right. right. Get out. That is. It's, that's probably very Make, true. You see but, that move we did last show? Do that right now. <laughs> <laughs> keep going. Yeah, you got, yeah. Keep going with that. When we hit the running right man to the left, <laughs> just don't come back. Do that tippy toe move to the left and keep doing it. Someone open the door. Someone open the door for you. Dance left until you hit the water. <laughs> and keep going, right? <laughs> but I, loyalty. Uh, There's something uh, else that has to be said. Uh, I think you also were, were taking a gamble, too. Like, all right, I see that this thing is... Is sinking, but I'm just I'm just one song away from bringing this whole damn thing right back up. As if you were in my brain, right? I, I absolutely felt that way. I, way t- I, I felt yeah, like because you're way too smart to just watch it. No, like, I, sink. I, I actually did the whole think time. That. You were probably thinking, all right, one it's more hit, one song, one of this. We go that. right back out in the road. I generate more money. And everything is cool. Well, it didn't happen like that. So that was the difference between, mm-hmm. you know, being able to sustain it long enough for, between hits because I made a decision 
that was the craziest thing from a business perspective, probably in the history of touring. When we come off the road, what are you guys going to do? Well, you know, I heard the mumbling. What you mean? What you, what you think we gonna do? We gonna go get some of these keys and get to work, <laughs> keep it moving. I was like, "Was you worried? Uh, these uh, guys around you? Uh, yeah, what? Yeah, they was around me." But uh, no, but I'm uh, saying the dudes no, that, about the, guys. the gangsters that, that you had around yeah. you did that make you a little nervous? Well, no, cause. I'm I'm kind of you know you know I, I know how to switch my hats, man. So well, you know, hammered, it, hammered means something else than we always started. Man. <laughs> yeah, 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 I know I, I know I'm, I, I ain't never I, I ain't never had a problem with that okay. ever 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 ever. So all right. we all grew up in the, the same way. You ended up with that mentality. I ended up, but I decided not to access it. it the, right. Immediately when I'm angry, it's not my first option. Right. So so so, but I made the decision. You know, I was like, man, you know. When we off the road, no, I don't do that because, one, we back in the same hole again. I, I, I ain't got time for these funerals. I'm tired of it. I'm not doing it. So I'm going to keep y'all on the payroll even Jeez. when we not on the road. That's so I paid the same amount of money when I was off the road as I did when I was on. It was a very conscious decision, and it was, in hindsight, from, from many perspectives, you would say, man, you shouldn't have did that. And, again, I wrestle with it. Uh, I'm going to wrestle with it for the rest of my life. My conclusion is, nah. I'll take life, and it, and thank God it all turned out okay yeah. from an economic standpoint. But historically, the story will probably never be uh, told the way. Right, it'll never right, be told right. that way. This will probably be the last time it's told <laughs> that way. But everybody who was there and who know about it know every word that I'm saying. To you. you come to my studio, you'll see 60 new cars out there. They all belong to my employees and my dancers. I co-signed for everybody because they go down to the bank, <laughs> and they couldn't qualify for a car. And I thought that was very insulting. So I would say, you know what? What do you mean they can't? They work for me. They got a job. Well, this is their first bit of credit. Oh, so you want to insult? You want to insult people? Okay, no problem. Send it over to me. I'm co-signing. Well, I ain't up co-signing for sixty cars. Oh. Okay. So I, I was like, but you, I, I want to create a middle class right now among the people who work for me to sell to show that we don't only have to hustle hard. We don't only have to sell dope. We don't only have to bring these machine guns to you. To make this money. So that was my dilemma. And that's why I ended up going down with the ship because I hope that one more hit, we can keep it going. Yeah. But we didn't get to one more hit, so I got the hit. It was called bankruptcy. And I and that's why you never heard me complain. You went, ne- you, you I, I, took, I took the hit them, and took the hits. You yeah. took them from zero to 60. That's what the issue is. Like You can't just take somebody from a certain – because I got friends where I'm like, hey, man, instead of going to Atlanta for whatever you're going to do – Let's save up your money. Let's go to Melbourne, Australia. And it's like, what? what you t- so if I just took them to Melbourne, Australia, that would be not smart. Yeah, I would yeah, have yeah. to teach them somehow to want to go to Melbourne. Right. He just he gave them stuff. And, 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 and what, it, what they did is just hammers giving us stuff. I crippled some people. Uh-huh. I did. I did. Some people... Some people I crippled because some guys never wanted to work again. No, seriously. Some of my guys were like, like seven years later, five years later after bankruptcy. Hey, what you doing? Shoot, wait for you. Yeah, wait for you to get it on, man. <laughs> I said, man, come on, you can't be you, you, you. Man, shoot, we waiting for that next hit. Hey, man, that was you know that was five years ago, dog. And you had to. It's all right, man. I'm all right. I'm a whole on. And well, well, eight it, years later, yeah. waiting for that next hammer oh, hit. So man. I crippled some cats. How much know? pressure did that put on you when you were writing? Because now all of a sudden you're writing to sustain a financial empire instead of just as an artist. Uh, How that's, much? that's well said. Uh, man, that's well said. So yeah, at some point we're really smart having yeah you guys you know you, you should do you guys should actually try to like get on the radio or something and i didn't mean to cut you off but, the, but you're, it was such a you know dead on point statement um it, it all changed it is because as you know i write from a very joyous dancing uh reflective position that's the other thing without digressing too far for every dance record i made i made a record dealing with issues. The issue records are never big as the dance records. But I say we got to pray, help the children. When we living in a world like this, why can't we live together? So I always balanced them all. But at, by the time I got to the funky headhunter, one is I was tired of cats who wouldn't want to see the other hammer on no day in their life under any circumstance, the physical, Choose your choice of weapons. Whatever it is that you, you you engage another man with, you wouldn't want a piece of me under no circumstances. Mm. Making records where they get to say my name or you know stuff like that. I you know I I ain't never been that cat, and, and so you know uh, uh, 
I made a record that I wouldn't have normally made mm-hmm. and addressed some of those issues, and I wrote from the perspective of what you just said. One, we need a big hit, and two, I want some heads. Listen, <laughs> I got <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're going to turn us off in the two computer. minutes. Okay. Okay. We're on shows. a computer, and okay. we want to okay. make sure everyone knows about Hammer Time, which is the reality show you're pushing big time. Uh, this Sunday, 10 p.m. on A&E. And he's learned his lesson because uh, he, he came here with his son. That's it. Uh, I, small I didn't see 100 guys in the hall. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Hey, hey, hey. Right. They no get, funny haircut. Just, nothing. Son. just him and his son. They're they going to get here, but they came by mule. <laughs> <laughs> they still walking here from Oakland. They, 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 they get here next, next year. <laughs> they old, God willing, they're on season two yeah. of Hammer Time. <laughs> and, and, and look, and my, my final plug then. Hammer yes. Time will be Sunday nights, 10 p.m. On any. You know what? You sold Very me. I'm going to watch. Oh, Starting when? Starting this Sunday? For real. Sunday. I'm going gonna, gonna, gonna to watch this. Uh, this Sunday's the first show? Or? Yeah, this is the first show this Sunday. Yeah, we'll Sunday. definitely watch. And Patrice, uh, we're, they're going to shut us yeah, off. I know. So we Patrice is in comics, comics tonight and tomorrow. It's going to be an awkward ending because the computer's going to you know, knock us off. Oh, yeah. It happened to me before. They turned my lights off before. That's a different story. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen that before. Go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, everybody get ready. It's going out now. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. 40 seconds. So uh, comics uh, uh, tonight and tomorrow for Patrice. And they're telling me that that your uh, Twitter name's wrong. It's Big Mama P R O D S. Okay, one word. And, and mine is one word. MC Hammer. Oh, oh, shit. You MC Hammer. Hammer. How do you get MC Hammer? Hammer? You you invest early. <laughs> oh, that's right. He was twitting early. That's right. That's right. Before anyone else could get.